On the 26th of April 1986, the number four reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in honor of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin exploded, causing a massive release of radioactive material. Towns and villages in the surrounding area were evacuated and initially the Soviet authorities tried to cover up the incident but were eventually forced to admit what had happened. Today, few people live in the exclusion zone but tourists are permitted to visit. War memorials remember those who gave their lives to the Soviet Union and the once thriving villages are now empty and overgrown. By contrast, the town of Chernobyl is relatively intact as workers lived there for short periods. Statues of Lenin and other symbols of communism are permitted to remain in this place, frozen in time. An avenue of signs remembers the villages and hamlets that were abandoned. Nearby is the monument of the third angel to those who died. We drive even further into the zone and soon we have our first view of the number four reactor which since 2016 has been shrouded in a steel dome. Nearby are the incomplete cooling tower and what was to be number five reactor. Standing in front of the reactor building, it is eerily quiet and it is difficult to imagine the chaos of 1986. A short distance away is the town of Pripyat, once a modern progressive city with wide boulevards and large open spaces, it is now shrouded in trees and vegetation. Supermarkets, the fun fair, football ground and the swimming pool are gradually decaying into ruins. The exclusion zone, however, still has more surprises to reveal. This sound may be familiar to many radio listeners during the 1980s. The source of the mysterious signals were revealed following the collapse of the Soviet Union. It was the Duga, a top secret over the horizon radar station. 700 meters long and 150 meters high, it is an immense structure standing high above the forest and it cost twice as much as the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In its heyday it was supported by a small town of staff, but today the structure is gradually decaying away. Although domestic animals and some wildlife were destroyed following the disaster, there are still numerous dogs in the zone, but they are now cared for and it is possible to catch a glimpse of wild animals that live in the forest, undisturbed by humans.